Hi everyone! Welcome to another vlog, another adventure. I will be playing in Arad, in the Arad Open. Super excited to be here. This tournament is taking place in Romania and I'm beyond excited to play another over the board event. Thanks to my sponsors from Alliance and also thanks to the organizers uh, I'm able to play in this event. I am super super grateful because it's been a while since I've played an over the board event so I'm really really looking forward to compete again. I have no expectations whatsoever. I don't know what to expect. I just try to play my best chess and we will see what's going to happen. So currently I'm still waiting uh, for the pairings. Obviously we would like to see the pairings quickly, but it seems like the pairings will be shortly before the start of the round. So no time to prepare. It will just be me going straight into the round. I will most likely be playing against someone much lower rated, which could either mean, I mean, obviously uh, it could mean anything, uh, we could be playing against someone that is uh, not high rated but very strong. Since the pandemic the ratings are, you know, unpredictable so it's really hard to say but in any case I'll do my best and I'm super excited that there's going to be a live feed on my stream. There will be no commentary really but I'm already really happy we're able to set up a stream with the live board as well as the live feed so it's gonna be very exciting and yeah i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen a quick introduction regarding to the um, time format and everything is a little bit different than usual i mean not too different but maybe good to mention so the tournament is nine rounds and there's two days with two rounds in one day which is going to be crazy a little bit hectic but we'll see how that's gonna turn out to be and the time format is 90 minutes uh for each person 30 seconds for every single move and on move 40, instead of 30 minutes, we get 15 minutes each person. So that's a little bit different, which means that games will be a bit shorter. But obviously, like, you can play forever with the increments still. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but it's good to know because, yeah, um, a change of time format it can be quite crucial. <laughs> um, and at least I will not be uh, surprised if, you know, I see suddenly 15 minutes instead of, instead of 30 minutes. In any case, I'm going to rest a little bit, see when the pairings will pop up, and I'll take some rest. So, I'll catch you guys later. Hi guys, so I just returned from my game. I played over five hours, and I drew. So, the first round draw, I played against a kid rated 1798. Obviously, this doesn't mean much. Um, I, especially with kids because they're so unpredictable one day they could be playing very well some days they don't do well it, it's really unpredictable most of the times they play really well and this guy also played really well it was a very tense game uh, we both were spending quite some time in the opening and very early on we were like low on time it was getting very tense in the middle of the game and out of nowhere I just blundered a pawn like I was I was so confused like I castled and then suddenly my pawn h3 was hanging and I was like and then like there was a fork so I would lose the pawn h3 and I was like wow and it turns out I was actually doing fine after that despite being down upon I had like tons of compensation I had a pair of bishops and it goes to show how important they are in time trouble I had a winning position I saw the winning idea but the execution was wrong because I managed to trap my rook and he had a really nice tactic that forced the trade of rooks and a bunch of pieces. Basically the position uh, that arised uh, after that was a complete draw and I couldn't do anything about it. I still thought I had some chances, some winning chances. Uh, there was a moment that my opponent offered a draw but I was like ain't happening we're gonna fight to the very end and i got really really close with the win but sadly it was not enough in time trouble i made the wrong decision and i completely overlooked the tactic that he made so it was a nice game it was a good game um i don't feel too upset about not winning against a lower rated player a much lower rated player and honestly i really feel like because I was fighting so hard, I was trying so, so hard to win. At the end, the draw didn't feel too bad because I was pushing so hard for the win. Like, I ignored any sort of repetition, draw for anything that was uh, a draw. I refused to accept it. Even the final position, I refused to accept it, but I, I 
could not not offer just <laughs> yeah it makes me happy that i fought so hard and it feels a bit satisfying in a way like i truly tried my best to win and in the end it didn't work out my opponent just played really well so what do you do so i don't feel too upset uh could have gone wrong in uh, any way possible so uh, we go again tomorrow tomorrow the round starts actually early 9 a.m my time 8 a.m uh, central european time so um yeah we'll try tomorrow again tomorrow is two rounds so let's see what's gonna happen also I won't be doing daily recaps. I really want to do that, but then I realized if I have a game of five hours, I'm quite tired. <laughs> and I also need to sleep for my round tomorrow at 9 a.m. So yeah, maybe I will just do recaps after the tournament when I'm home, then I can do it peacefully. But for now, I'll try to focus on tournament as much as possible and have a little vlog here and there. It's amazing that the stream is working. That makes me really happy. So let's see what's going to happen in the upcoming few days. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting me. Um, I'll do my best tomorrow. Thank you. Peace. Hi, guys. So this is day three of the tournament. Uh, yesterday, I had two rounds and I was so exhausted that I didn't feel like vlogging at all. Um, my first game was really tough. I was finished last and Turn left. I lost terribly. Like I fought really, really, really hard, but I had zero chances, which is quite frustrating, uh, especially when you're playing as low rated, but you just played really well. What do you do? And then the next round, um, I was playing against 1500 rated and I did much better. But uh, yeah, I won I won the queen for two pieces, but it took me a while to convert. So yeah. Yeah, that's that was a bit uh, frustrating and uh, you would say like I oh, probably had like a nice game then because you were up material, but no, nope, I was <laughs> I was not uh, having fun because it was really hard to convert and it was really stressful because at some point I thought I might be losing. So yeah, today we're outside finally. I haven't been able to go outside at all. I've been so busy and yeah, my last round yesterday also lasted like uh, four hours, three to four hours. So I'm pretty, I was pretty exhausted. Now I'm fine. I slept well, um, had breakfast a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna sh visit the shopping mall and see if I can find a supermarket because I'm running out of drinks. <laughs> I didn't have time to go outside at all. So yeah, um, it's really nice over here. The weather is nice, not too warm today. So that makes me really happy. So yeah, on my way to the supermarket. Okay, so I just returned from uh, the shopping center. I went to the supermarket and bought some nice stuff. However, the shopping mall was really, really underwhelming. I really thought it was going to be a bit more exciting, but nope. So, yeah. Um, just going uh, back to my room now and do some prep. So, let's get to prep. On my way back, I came across the beautiful city hall of Arad. The architecture in this town is so pretty, it actually reminds me of Vienna. Oh, you guys, sorry for the bad lighting, bad quality, but a uh, quick update. I just played round four and I won, which makes me really happy. But the game, it was another very very long game um it took almost five hours and i uh, managed to turn a very equal game it was extremely equal it, it was meant to be a draw it was a nine end game and i managed to win that she made a mistake she was over pushing i was actually really stressed i really thought i was actually gonna lose but turns out it was all that equal and when we traded knights and then it was a pawn end game and i was promoting to queen first and she was promoting after me it meant that i had the initiative yeah i was able to convert it i managed to take her pawns uh, so i was up two pawns i had two connected past pawns she didn't have anything just the queen i had a really really hard time to convert this i remember there was this game uh chad actually reminded me of this that it was in the World Rapid and Blitz. Rasmus Swain against Anish Giri. And uh, I think Rasmus had a queen and two pawns. The same 
type of position, same way. He managed to make such a huge blunder. Obviously, I mean, time trouble, anything can happen. And he's checkmated him, just with the queen. Crazy, right? And I was thinking in myself, like, I remember there is this game where this happened. This could be me as well. I was really thinking, like, it's not over until it's over. So I was really trying my best to not throw the game. And after almost five hours, I finally managed to win and convert it. I was so happy. You know, I, the entire game I was stressed because I didn't, I was not having the draw. I didn't want to accept the draw. But eventually, uh, winning that end game as well, converting that, made me really, really proud of myself. So we got another point in the bag. Tomorrow we're playing a 1900 rated player. I don't remember the name out of my head. I still need to prepare. It's very late tomorrow. The, and that round starts 9 a.m. Romanian time again, which is disgusting. But yeah, we have another double round. So I'll get some sleep. I'll probably take a shower as well. And um, yeah, let's see what tomorrow is waiting for us. Good night. Hi guys, this is day four. Today I had a double round. Pretty exhausting, but we got some good scores finally today. Today I played in the first round, 9 a.m. Uh, Romanian time. <laughs> I played against someone uh, rated 1900. Uh, I had a really nice start. I surprised him in the opening. I had some quick prep very briefly in the morning and a little bit the day before in the night so <laughs> didn't have so much time to prep but i just went with my feelings so it turned out well the position was very tense it was uh pretty sharp and at the critical moment he took my he like he sacrificed uh his bishop but instead he should have sacrificed his knight for the same pawn so yeah, he miscalculated that and I got a winning position and uh, soon after that I won. So that was a really good game. The next game, which was round six, I was playing another against another um, 1900. And funnily enough, it was the brother of the player I played in the first round. So I was like, okay, I against little brother, I had a winning position, but I messed up and it turned into a draw. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> the game was... Um, pretty tense. He was attacking early on. I felt like I had a good position from the opening, but I wasn't able to convert it into a bigger advantage. I had a small advantage, uh, but he was attacking really hard on the king side, and it was difficult for me to defend properly. I mean, I managed to survive, I managed to defend well, but I made a small inaccuracy, which led to a forced repetition, which he was forcing, and I had no escape whatsoever, because if I, if I was going to escape the repetition, I would perhaps lose. So <laughs> I didn't want to go for that. So yeah, one and a half out of two today, so I'm pretty happy with the score. Uh, slightly disappointed I didn't win my last game as well, but it's fine. We're getting those points in, we are doing much better than before. So let's keep up the spirit. Tomorrow I'm playing against the Canonate Mass actually, rated 2000, so I'm glad I'm finally getting to play against higher rated opponents. I mean, this is not higher rated than me, but I'm already happy the player is, uh, the opponent is 2000 rated, so yeah, we still need to catch up with the uh, rating points, but it's all good. I'm having a great time, the food is a great once again, I'm really, really happy with the food during the day. I'm glad the double rounds are over, because it was really, really exhausting, you can probably tell I'm pretty tired. I also played a bug house tournament after the round was completely over. I did kind of expect something differently because I'm used to bug house online and the rules here were very different. I could not promote. If I would promote, I would lose the pawn, not get a piece in return, and it's my opponent's turn. So it did not make sense at all. I was like I was promoting and I thought I was going to queen and give a check, but turns out that was not a check. My pawn is gone and my it's my opponent's turn and they were taking my queen so that was a bit embarrassing <laughs> on top of that so you cannot put a pawn on the seventh rank you cannot checkmate with a new piece so i mean you you cannot drop it right away as a checkmate so like if you drop the piece and then checkmate on the next move or something then sure but you cannot drop a new piece and then have the checkmate uh, directly like that so there were a lot of rules like that, that i had to get used to Every time I kept telling myself, okay, no pawns on the 7th rank, no pawns on the 7th rank. It still happened, but nobody came. 
<laughs> we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, I managed to... Uh, so I was playing with Vlad, by the way, the Bug House Tournament. Uh, we were a great match, we were doing really well. We were top seed, but we were facing kids all the time, and they are so good at this game, so we got... We got crushed pretty much, but we won four games, lost, lost three games. What was funny, by the way, so I made this tweet earlier this week that I'm in Smurf Town because everyone, like, people are rated 1700 and they play as GMs. And I also mentioned on my stream, I'm in Smurf Town. So when me and Vlad arrived, he was, we were talking like, okay, what should we name our team? So he came up with the name Smurf Town because you know, this is Smurf Town. <laughs> Only to realize that on the paper it says that one team named themselves Smurf Town. <laughs> I've never seen such a big coincidence. I, I don't know if they got it from me or I, it, it's crazy. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we faced them as well and we almost beat them. We almost had them. But sadly, I flagged, even though I was ahead on the clock. I don't know how it happened. My opponent was, and, and I was checkmating my opponent. But my opponent was just giving me checks all the way. I, I he had like a billion pieces and I couldn't do anything. It was it was terrible. I I, I got almost checkmated myself, you know, in, in this whole check series. But anyways, it was a great time, it was a lot of fun. There, there was by the way, there was one kid, he was super he seemed super young and he was trash talking. I first I was like, he's so adorable, like he looks so cute. And then he started trash talking me in English. He's like, what is this, bro? <laughs> that was really cute. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it was amazing. But yeah, that was my day today. Pretty busy. It's, what is the time? I think it's way past 11 p.m. Uh, so I'm gonna get some sleep soon. Get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will most likely just, yeah, take it easy. Maybe go for a walk. And yeah, I got some more drinks because I'm running out of drinks. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. So I'm currently prepping. I decided to do something completely new. So it seems like my opponent is playing the move e5 after e4, at least in the last few games, especially in this tournament. So here is what i'm planning to do let's have a look so i'm currently watching this video i first watched levy's video on the vienna gambit and now i'm watching this video from the st louis chess club don't mind the screen i don't remember like i don't have my background on this laptop yeah we have a blue background with purple uh, board but okay anyways i'm th thinking of playing this line don't tell my opponent and try to get some exciting position, fresh position. I have no idea what my opponent plays. Maybe my opponent plays something else. That would be interesting. But I'm thinking of doing this. By the way, shout out to Razer. Thank you so much, Razer, for providing me this laptop. Look how cute and adorable it is. It's all pink. And it's touch screen. It's touch screen, so I can do anything. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, get back to prep. By the way, I've never, never, never played this. So that's gonna be something. By the way, this is the playing hall of the event. Lots of AC, luckily. And at the end, you can see my stand that I use for my streams. The top 20 boards were live over here. Let's go, I won! I was playing against uh, a talented kid rated 2000. I was so happy because I did not expect to win like this. So basically the game, it did become a Vienna game. I played a Vienna Gambit and at some point he played Knight C6 and actually at that point I was already out of book. I didn't remember the line anymore. So he played with Knight C6, which turns out to be a really bad move. And I spent quite some time trying to figure out what is going on because I started seeing things like wait, this is a move, what do I do about this and stuff like that. But eventually I got into a really good position. Apparently to engine it was plus four and I was like, what? I was so concerned. I mean, I wasn't concerned about my position, but more like I know I'm better, but one, not that better. And two, how do I actually turn this into a bigger advantage? How do I actually make use of the advantage that I currently have? At some point... I spent a lot of time and I decided to go for bishop f5 
and yeah i was happy with my position but i didn't know what i was doing really so <laughs> i was expecting him after takes takes to play g6 which seemed to be good to me but suddenly he went for the move h4 and this allowed me to bring my knight into the game his king was in the middle of the board still so i was like okay so it seems like it's very good this position so then he made this move g6 and i was like yes yes and i was really really happy that he allowed me to play knight takes g6 and i had a crushing attack on his king and it was pretty much a forced win he couldn't do anything about it one move in the line that i played it was a quiet move so it was probably that move that he missed he un underestimated the move pretty much i'm so happy it was such a good game i'm so proud of it this is like my best game pretty much in this tournament so and i'm so happy that i managed to like finish it in like such great style you know so yeah well you go into the next round with a big smile <laughs> i'm still down a few points but i'm really happy that i like showed off my true skills with this game at least so yeah super excited for tomorrow we'll see who i'll be facing tomorrow probably a strong player probably hi guys today i played round eight and i played against the grandmaster and i was really really excited for this game because it was the first time i was actually playing against someone higher rated than me uh, and as you can probably tell from my mood right now i lost the game and that is typically not really bad because well i played against the grandmaster it's not very unexpected but what hurts me the most is the way that i lost because it was not supposed to happen i prepared some lines i didn't want to go for like some solid position because i had a feeling that he would simply outplay me so i wanted to go into more uh, dynamic positions so i went for this line um i actually don't know what it's called but yeah i'll leave that to you guys <laughs> he played this move e4 and i had it prepared as in a move later so like i thought knight c3 bishop b4 and then e4 and then i had in my mind like okay i play f5 and all sorts of things but when he played e4 first i was like oh okay i guess that's also a move it didn't really cross my mind that i needed to have my bishop on b4 to make f5 work so i was like i know after e4 you play f5 and like you have this control on the diagonal on the g2 pawn uh, so I was like, I, I think it's fine. And then when I played, I was like, wait, there's some problems here. One, I'm not able to uh, capture on g2 really, because queen h5, king e7, if, if I move my king up, um, there's queen g5 check, which I missed, first of all. Second of all, I was like, I should be fine. So like, I didn't really realized that my bishop on f8 was misplaced it should be on b4 to make all of this work i was pretty much hoping that i would be fine still but pretty much after he takes f5 which was like move four or something move five i was like well i think i can safely say that i'm gonna lose this game um i was pretty confident that i was gonna lose and i was in a really like bad mood mentally i spend all my time in like a few moves after this and i just couldn't do anything my pieces were stuck and i had no plan whatsoever there was not even moves to consider it was just all sad <laughs> these kind of games make me more sad doesn't matter against who because it was so sad and i feel quite embarrassed about this so yeah it's it's really sad and it makes it even more hard to deal with because you finally have a chance to play against someone so strong after facing so many smurfs and then to have it end this way i would have accepted it if i lost it you know just because my opponent is stronger but it feels like i wasn't able to do anything this game like i think it would have been less embarrassing if i completely didn't show up you know like as a comparison because this game was really bad and yeah i basically didn't really give my opponent a challenge obviously my opponent just outplayed me it was so much better and played really accurately but it makes me feel a bit sad that i gave him you know an easy time basically because all the time he was doing better 
and it was uh, relatively simple for him. It's a bit unfortunate, but we go on. Tomorrow's the last round, 9 a.m. I have to go to sleep. So, good night, guys. Hoping for a good finish tomorrow. See ya. I just finished my last game of the tournament, and I played against an 1800, and sadly, I lost horribly. Kind of in a similar way as yesterday. Again, mistake in the opening, misplayed something, and my opponent just destroyed me, gave me no chances. Don't even know where it went wrong exactly. I know I made a mistake in the opening, but even after that, it was still, you know, relatively fine. But my opponent just outplayed me. I have no words. I don't know what to tell you. I remember 1800s being, you know, not that strong. So yeah, it, it feels really, really sad to end this way. I lost around 35 rating points or something. So that's pretty upsetting. But yeah, I mean, it was a really nice experience. It's sad to end on this note, but I learned a lot. And what I think is most important is, you know, like the way I'm reflecting on this tournament. And actually, I really feel like I learned a lot. And... I actually have been able to sit through all of the games for so long. I really, really gave it my all. And it makes me feel really proud because I know from like past experiences, my past tournaments, I would tend to slow down. I would tend to feel like, oh, I'm tired or anything like that. But in this tournament, I, I rarely felt really tired. I was really like during the game going for it all the way. I was not scared to fight for a win instead of accepting the draw. I really feel like I tried my best. I really, really gave it my all. And yeah, I, I like the fact that I had this fighting spirit. I mean, the last two games, as soon as I realized I have, a, I have problems and not just problems, but big problems, I was like not feeling great about my positions and I was, you know, feeling horrible. But other than that, I think I did great and I really, really tried my best against those kids, um, those damn kids. <laughs> I played against one grandmaster that was not a kid and all the other players were literal kids, youth players. I mean, some, I think the last opponent was 17 years old or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, just, yeah very underrated players we actually had a look and vlad actually checked that almost all my opponents especially the kids won 50 to 100 points or like 40 to 100 points i i mean <laughs> that says enough that means they had a really good tournament and not just because they beat me or played well against me but because they play well overall and yeah it goes to show that my tournament was just really tough and i couldn't do much about it i mean i tried my everything i tried my best I tried prepping, I tried new things to confuse them, to get them out of prep, and it worked once really well. But yeah, the other times, uh, I, especially in the last few rounds, I was the one out prepped, um, even though they didn't even try to out prep me. It was me pretty much uh, messing up. But okay, I learned a lot. I learned a lot this tournament. And I mean, I go back home as in like a bit sad because I lost rating and, you know, it's so much effort you put into those rating. And the games were really hard to enjoy because I was struggling for so long every single round. But all in all, I feel like it was a great experience. I learned a lot. And the fact that I feel like there is some improvement in my gameplay, my endurance, my stamina. I feel like there's a lot of improvement there. I've been like working out uh, lately and stuff. So I really feel like that has helped me a lot to keep on going in this tournament. All in all, I would like to thank my sponsors, um, Alliance, for making this happen, the organizers uh, for providing um, also the hotel and everything. Um, they really, really took care of me here. The meals they offered in the hotel were amazing. I really love them. Typically, when there's a fixed menu, I'm sending my prayers to myself <laughs> because I know I'm a picky eater. I don't like a lot, but I was really happy that they were offering food every single day. Uh, I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And okay, breakfast is like standard, you know, but lunch and dinner were had like fixed menu every day. No idea what to expect. So I was really terrified of that, but I liked almost every single dish. It was amazing. It was like I was, you know, in heaven. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so, so much. Also, thank you for Vlad for 
uh, amazing hospitality, amazing welcome in um, his hometown pretty much. And also for making this happen because without him, I would probably not have been here. No. <laughs> Especially knowing that there is so many underrated kids. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so, so much. Um, thank you so much to everyone for following. I know the streams have been going really well. I really, I'm really happy we were able to make this happen with the streams because I know that, you know, typically it's kind of strange to have a phone in the playing hall and I was terrified it would suddenly make noise but it didn't it didn't we we are fine we are fine and it was really nice that I was not able to see the phone whatsoever it was facing the wall and if you really wanted to see the phone you would really have to like uh, break your neck pretty much <laughs> and then you still don't see anything in any case um, thank you so so much for supporting thank you for watching I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. Uh, we're moving on to the EWCC, the European Women's Chess Championship. It starts on, I'm in my, in my memory, I don't really remember it. Well, I still have to check it because I was first very busy with this tournament, but I believe it starts on the 20th. I'm flying out on the 19th, I believe. I have to double check this. I don't know actually, but okay. I'm flying in a few days to Prague. Uh, obviously I go uh, home first, but I'll be flying to Prague after that. And we'll be playing 11 rounds uh, in the European Women's Chess Championship. I'm super excited for it because last year I had a pretty decent performance at the start. I mean, more than decent at the start, but at the end, I, yeah, I blew it up. So let's see if we can improve that this year. Um, because this time I will not be playing against Smurfs. I will not be playing as underrated kids. I mean, maybe, but there's a very slight chance, you know? So I'm really looking forward to that tournament as well. Thank you so, so much for supporting me. Thanks for watching. And we will see you again. We will see each other again in Prague in a few days. Bye!